Lonnie Miley, it's been a while since we've talked, and uh, some of your rifleists, I'll call them that, it's probably not a word, but hey, here we go, uh, <laughs> done fairly well. Peter Fiore, actually an alternate for the Olympics. Yeah, so uh, Peter this year is working on, you know, four additional matches uh, included in our season. And the last two were just for the Olympic tryouts, and he came in fourth overall. You know, and, and actually, Air Rifle is not his favorite or his strong suit, <laughs> but we're, you know, we're slowly convincing him that he can be a very strong Air Rifle shooter because he certainly has been on our team. And now he, he will be able to represent the U.S. Yeah, he is an alternate, but he will continue to, you know, shoot air rifle matches for the U.S. team and kind of gain that experience. That's awesome. Now, moving right along, uh, Patriot Championships, defending champs you are. What are you expecting this week and ready for this? Well, our training has been going very well uh, for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we came off a, not to our, you know, certainly not our strongest match at Ohio State. You know, we kind of shook up the, uh, the team there a little bit to give more people experience of what it was like to feel like a team member. Um, and again, you know, some, some growing pains there, but uh, we, we've, put, we've turned that into fuel, and shooting in practice has been, you know, better than it's been all year. So hopefully that will transpire into some, some good match scores. Now, TCU is leading the pack in the NCAA, and, and they are certainly the, you know, the one that everybody's aiming for, and, and some very good scores. So we've got our work cut out for us, but, you know, we've been training hard, and, and we're bringing our, our best match forward. Yeah. You, uh, we kind of talked off camera a little bit, but maybe explain a little bit how you're getting every team member involved, even if they're not shooting on that day. And that's kind of what the Ohio State deal was about, just making sure everyone realizes you might need to shoot for the team. Right. So, you know, there are some team members that absolutely know that their team, their score will be counting. Right. Um, and then there's some, you know, certainly our, our freshmen or our sophomore that we're working into, you know, being on the top five so so I will designate five team members as the the counting score and then the top four scores will count I don't always tell everybody whether or not they're on the team because sometimes if I tell them you know if they want to know whether or not they're on the team I say no you're not on the team today they may have their best day ever right. you know and that doesn't help us right. uh, and so I mean other than for them gaining some experience but then you've got to be able to do it when it counts you've got to be able to do it when you are a counting team member so for again the 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 ones that are I'm slowly working into team I let them know afterwards that they were a counting member and that their their score counted you know and that we really you know we they worked hard and 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 it came to fruition but um, you know, there's just kind of a little bit of a cat and mouse in the beginning to, to see how they'll respond to being a team member. But again, no matter what, whether you're on the team or not, you've got to give it your best. And, and it can't matter, actually. It can't matter. You've got to do it no matter what, uh, what cards are laid down. And, um, you know, they're slowly working into that, and, and we're seeing very good signs. Yeah. Uh, TCU, as you mentioned, shooting lights out so far, but your people are doing good in practice. How do you make sure that they continue that good shooting in an event? Well, we, we set our goals accordingly. You know, I never, ever want them to shoot a goal or set a goal that's, you know, five or six points higher than they've ever shot. That's not realistic. So we want just an exact a right amount of challenge when we go to the match. And it's nothing that they, they're, they are incapable of so that we don't create any worry or additional stress. I mean, the match itself is enough stress because it, now it counts. Now it counts and everybody sees your score. So that's enough. But you've got you've to keep it in your wheelhouse. Yeah, you want to perform at the top of your ability, but I'm never asking for more than what's absolutely in their wheelhouse. But, you know, but the demands are high. And, uh, but as long as it's realistic and it's something that they know they're capable of doing, uh, but just the right amount of challenge, that usually brings out the best in them. Got a lot ahead of you this week. Good luck to you. Yep, thanks so much.